Universal basic income is a self-described utopian notion that's actually been around since Utopia, uh, Thomas More's book. But many authors coming from all different types of <coughs> political perspectives have proposed that society should base itself on providing a basic income to every person in the community, which would be a comprehensive grant, it would be universal, it would be in cash, it wouldn't be conditional. And so it has a lot of attractions in the sense that every individual will have a certain amount of money at their disposal. It's not going to be enough for them to live a good life on. It's going to be enough to subsist on, but it's going to give them the platform, the foundation on which to build a better life if they want to. If they don't want to, as one of the main proponents has argued, they can go and surf their life away and do nothing else. They'll be living on a very tiny amount of money, but the society would be better off not to try to force them to work, not to have the big bureaucracy that's checking on them every minute of every day, to instead give them a certain dignity, to affirm that we are a society that looks after all of our people. So the idea of a universal basic income has always been supported by um, a range of philosophers and others, but it's now becoming much more interesting to the hard-nosed economic types because what we're seeing, and it's no surprise that the Silicon Valley entrepreneurs are at the, uh, the head of much of this, uh, what we're now seeing is the potential for radically lower levels of productive employment in our societies. As robots start to accompany, accomplish uh, ever more jobs on factory floors, in warehouses and so on, as we move towards driverless transportation systems, cars and so on, there simply aren't going to be the jobs available at those lower levels of skill. And people are concerned. First, that it's going to be dehumanizing because people will be unemployed. Secondly, it'll be socially problematic because if you've got a lot of very poor unemployed people, it's not a good recipe. And third, it's economically unproductive because you don't have a consumer base to buy all the electronics and other products that are being developed. Mm. So there are increasing numbers of people, uh, and Mark Zuckerberg, for example, came out in an address at Harvard uh, University, basically endorsing the concept, saying that we need to explore whether we can provide this sort of basic income grant to everyone. It's a very interesting ideology um, behind the concept, um, just when you think of human dignity. And I, I want to take this sort of back to your journey um, in, in places of deep poverty in the U.S. Because the concept of a universal basic income partially is based on this idea that, that people do want to work, that, they're, that most people will not just take the universal basic income and decide to surf their lives away. Um, did you find evidence of that in, in the people that you met, that these were people that did want to work and there just simply weren't the opportunities that you and I have discussed in this conversation? The United States is a country of workers. There's a real work ethic. Uh, I met a number of people who were doing two or three jobs. And the ones who were most heartbreaking were the ones who said, look, I work full time and I have a second job and I can't live on it. It's not enough. So there are many employees of Walmart, for example, who work full time, but they receive food stamps. In other words, their income levels remain so low that they're eligible for government support to buy basic foodstuffs. So what I found was a real desire to work, uh, but simply there's not work available. And there's a great irony because the conservative side of politics these days is all about we've got to move people off welfare into employment. 
But there aren't the jobs, certainly not at that level of skill. And the government is not paying to retrain these people. It's not putting money into trying to create any sort of decent jobs. So to the extent that there are jobs available, they are very low paying, which is fine, ironically, by the people who have to do them, but they're not enough to live on. So you need to have the welfare system, again, even to prop up that part of the employment market.